you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, Mr. Uh, Keisuke Toyoda, the architect, co-founder and partner of Noise and co-founder and partner of Subdu, entitled City as a Multiverse, the next undiscovered territory as common ground. Mr. Toyoda, please, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome him on stage with support. Good morning. I consider myself very appropriate uh, to be invited on the stage and that's such the uh, prestigious uh, forum. I'm going to spend 30 minutes of time, which is much more shorter than the uh, speeches I usually give after Dr. Lander's very meaningful and significant presentation is given before me. So I'm, I feel myself very nervous, but I'd like to downsize a little bit and also more concrete way how well that we are able to uh, respond to the changing world from perspectives of architect, especially that the Mori Art uh, the, uh, Museum have the uh, special the uh, presentation on the art and the city, and focusing on cities or the uh, current technology or expressions, how well we are able to contribute for that change. That could be the takeaway message from me to all of you. Now, I am the Anos Architect co-founder and partner. I actually designed uh, the buildings and houses, but at the same time, I am engaged at, in computer, computational design, how that the uh, computers and latest technology can contribute for the designing or that the building, not the uh, limited only to the architectural building, but the uh, planning or the concept forming, and after building is built, how well does uh, the building is effectively used? That is a comprehensive uh, the pictures of all the elements uh, centering around the building, and I think it is the, uh, the really the foundation and also the importance of the platform will lead to the significance of meaning. So my effort is very practical as well as the um, conceptual. So without further ado, I'd like to show you uh, some of those examples, not on buildings or architecture, but the more easy way, and that's the uh, fusion of the designs and digital technology output doesn't necessarily be the architectural work. You know, that the many mega scales and the, uh, the smaller scales, everything goes when the output is something digital. For example, this one, it is a Bao Bao fashion brand, and the Bao Bao asked me to design a show wind window, and this is one example. <coughs> It's very interesting that the Baba wanted the LDD screen, which is flexible and bending without any foundation. Why? So that I really, uh, um, like my brain asked you, because the illumination capability and also that luminance is very low because it is the latest technology. But the, uh, you know, Baobao, the logo fits with that, the uh, resolution of the uh, screen, so that uh, I use a computer technology to the uh, uh, the changes the forms it was from uh, uh, installed in the stage so that the wind wind can be generated to make that the flexible screen flow like this and that's uh, of course this is more like a physical phenomena this is to do with that the uh, the wind and wind uh, molecules uh, reacting with that the uh, solid or semi solid object of screen as if that the uh, the kind of physical forces is influencing digital representation but uh, it's like that the uh, data as information is flown and changing forms along with those the blowing wind uh, wind so the digital form against that the uh, the physical presence as if that the molecule is interacting with physical or something digital, and this is a creation of the uh, space of fusing those two different uh, aspects. More architectural or the uh, context, I can actually introduce to you a school in Taiwan. It's a public art installation. Using digital or technology and architecture, we are able to refer to the various other operations and activities of other disciplines. This is a sound artist, uh, the collaboration with sound artist called John Kazuhiro. 
The sound artist actually uses a visual coding, placing icons and the program using a logic joined together to create something like music using mapping software. And uh, we are using uh, Grasshopper, the visual coding, to make a form. The visual codings uh, joined together, needless to mention, they have similar interfaces, so that puts sound into form and form into uh, um, a sound, and, and we're able to map the data together. So that we pick up that sounds and noises of the cities, they put it in a max, and then that structure we will put into the grasshopper, that structure form, uh, the software to put it into pattern. This is a merge through the information. It is a public art called a game of life. The Conway actually came up with ideas of that, the uh, information algorithm, using that so that, um, you know, pattern aut autonomously changing shapes. By doing that, newly formed pattern actually use the same path, but come up with a different sounds. So sounds and also the noises of the city actually is a, a source of the code to change the patterns of those the, uh, slides. And then a totally unusual and unique sounds are created. So it's the sounds and the uh, uh, architecture or building that those two different entities which have never interacted one another are now starting dialogue. So in order to do that, you need to it has so many computers, but it is still experimental phase, please allow us. But this is very interesting experiment. Input, this time is a sound, but it doesn't need to be the uh, sound. It could be the temperature, humidity, or that the uh, drowsiness of students uh, at the, uh, the class, uh, classroom. And also output can be that kind of that slight burning, or can be the illumination lighting, or the, uh, since that drowsiness of student uh, is the input. Output key be that rattling sound of a desk, perhaps, so that, that all, everything which can be used as information, put it into the digital form, input and output. As we take it for granted, a kind of natural combination is all of a, all of a sudden, uh, they broke into pieces, and then we're able to see that new forms and new connection. Architects refer to the X, Y, that's the special information uh, to use it as input and uh, output as means for the past uh, several hundred years. But you don't need to limit uh, uh, your world or swear to that. So the, uh, my main theme is the uh, information and materials and the area between. So there are information and there's the material. In the past, there are clear boundary or line separating those two worlds. But we are practically using information and materials. We're beginning to think that information is actually materials and materials is information. As resolution goes up, it is not easy to separate those two clearly was a boundary. So consider it's a kind of fluctuation, consider it as ambiguous thing, consider it as possibility. Like you can see, the grasshopper interact with the individual coding means, uh, connecting various icons, and you're able to make the logical or circuit. And based on that, the form is generated, like you can find on the left. This is a, more, more like a process chart. So architecture has a basic design and basic plan, and then actual designs, and um, so that the uh, processes actually work linearly or temporary. Once something is wrong, you have to go back from the very starting point. But once a logical circuit is made, you are able to free freely through all those the uh, patterns and workflows, and the end result can variate. So that the uh, uh, the time and also that root and cause could be the uh, target for the uh, input and output. Could be materials and information, structures and cost, but other aspect and element can be actually that they, uh, expressed as digital and can be translated as code. You are able to utilize those uh, as a materials. Architect can handle XYZ the access that kind of spatial or the dimensions, but could be the four-dimensional, ten-dimensional, or maybe more, that you have to be consciously handling those the uh, multi-dimensional object. And this is the time that we have to really uh, put ourselves in. 
very rough uh, the uh, in in the world of architect Cape Express, in that the uh, top right there's an architect. Before the rival debit uh, the uh, technology that the architect were able to ha uh, to handle high end information, the uh, cost uh, or that aspect as well as an environment aspect, you can actually find this drawing in my website. Of course, you can take pictures if you like. So that we've been handling that structural information in the past for so many years, but it is based on experiment and uh, and, and that's the uh, not or the intuition as a very ambiguous the awareness and that, that the uh, masters and apprentice uh, practicing together for 10 years and master can communicate that the uh, kind of essence uh, to the apprentice, but uh, it is not the uh, uh, objective, it's more like a subjective. In order for that kind of information to be communicated in a very objective manner, so we use those kind of drawings, but the uh, depth and accuracy is very, very rough. So that we are able to actually that the press it into the three dimensional form of architect and uh, drawing as being a kind of school of architect. We've been following that for many centuries, but with the arrival of coding that the high level or that the ambiguous information can be captured, not all, but the uh, high uh, level system can be outputted and can be distributed, can be shared. So that is more like an objective sharing of that high level information. And this is huge breakthrough. I mean that once in, uh, in the past several, several or the centuries that we are able to have that kind of awakening, we have come to the stage. Now on left, you see that the process mode, mode the program calls, that high level information can be inputted and then description is made to put this information into form. And of course, that you are able to reiterate, it's more like an interactive processing, and then form can be formed. And that may actually look like very illogical, uh, but the, uh, we are able to have some kind of means to put this out. And then there could be some appropriate fabrication method which we are able to invent. So this is a kind of direction toward high level information, high level structuring. Now that uh, what is the aim? It is not our aim to make some strange form or unacceptable form or that the uh, putting idea into form is not the end of the story. The form can be used and then by practice you will know that the uh, edge should be actually rounded or that the, this form can be changed. That kind of the uh, converted information is put into the digital forms and then uh, that the original shape is transformed. So that is putting it and realizing it and that the feedback onto that. This is the kind of scanning and that the feedback and also that the kind of the uh, point clouds information. We have actually that the uh, raised way uh, so that there are some pathway connecting uh, top and down. What is lacking is that the um, the putting data back uh, from the uh, uh, world of object to world of digital. And uh, it is go beyond the uh, sphere of urban environment or the uh, architectural environment. Of course, that we have started, but it is still in a basic phase. The state of art, the uh, control is not being realized yet. So what we have to refer to is, is like the world of entertainment, games, and cinemas, and movies. For example, can you identify this? Are you a moviegoers? You would know, and you can actually read it, as a Benedict Cumberbatch, that the shooting in, in Hollywood, this is actual scene. The full CG movies, they are uh, me, acted by very famous actors, the uh, attaching motion capture sensors all around his body, even to his face. He is now acting a dragon, uh, uh, featuring uh, in at the CG uh, the minimum, 
and he is really tethered with all those codes and senses without any background, without co-actors, that he is acting as a dragon. This is that how the Toshiji movies are taken. But in the very initial phase, the good old days of Toy Story, the face, there could be 12 batches to form the face, and each batch have sliders, and that the uh, actually that manipulating sliders, the facial expression can be generated. But now the Shiji actually employs the thousands of uh, sensors so that the human uh, manipulation is really uh, too, uh, too naive, that very, very um, subtle facial ex expression cannot be realized by the, uh, the manual work. So what Benedict Cumberbatch is doing that, that you have a special studios and that the uh, executive, uh, excuse me, that the um, uh, experts to actually make films utilizing this expertise is most efficient and economical way of making pictures. High level information can be captured and controlled and what uh, is the situation in urban environment? When you think about that, in looking around your building, there are no such things like markers or the sensors attached to the buildings. In the past several centuries, we have that kind of common understanding that the building is a static object. You, you don't actually need to put some dy dynamism to it. This is more like our common understanding of that the preconception, so that uh, we have never thought about putting dynamic elements to buildings. For example, further that you have the new inventions and new technologies. This is the uh, new technology which will be in the market in the future. This gentleman is amputated. He has no arms. But the with only mind power that he thinks that he armed to move and then the processes you can actually move. Of course, practice makes perfect and within a computer, he has to actually master how to use his procedures by the thought power, by thinking, emotion. You can actually pick up the, uh, the glass and drink water. And that's a great value because a person without arms can't live, uh, you know, that, that uh, usual life. Or perhaps that he is able to have the third arm or maybe fourth arm attached to his back and abdomen, perhaps. That is possible. That human body can translate. Because in the past, we took it for granted that human body has only two arms and no more than that. But we went beyond that kind of that, the boundary. So actually seek that the additional arm functionality. It could be possible that arm can be attached to human body or that attached to the door or that to the taxi cab. By doing that, perhaps that the boundary is broad as to uh, how much that you can conceive uh, your body and how much you conceive outside your body. That three or four years from now, that kind of technology will be available in the market. Furthermore, like that's the, the kind of functionality or that the, uh, the arm doesn't need to sh uh, take the shape of human hands. You know that some kind of that the um, actuators can control and that they manipulate like air conditioning. How do you actually deal with the TV, uh, the channel battle? Uh, you want to see this program and your, 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 your mommy want to see other uh, the, uh, ch uh, TV commercial or the, the TV program. And so that you have to actually decide a kind of hierarchy or that maybe that the titles and authorities and whatever. So that controls, you know, perhaps go uh, off the hands of human, perhaps that could be an automated decision, or perhaps that the building may install uh, itself with the AIs and other artificial intelligence and looking at the situation and then building so the AI will decide the um, capture and decide the situation and take appropriate action. And then that's the architecture. Further, I know that kind of know how or that the technology to incorporate this kind of state of art technology into the building for the buildings to be uh, uh, the building to be completed in four or five years uh, from now you must 
perhaps has to install that kind of latest technologies. What about Amazon Robotics, like a warehouse in Amazon? There are many agent autonomous the uh, uh, guiding uh, machines. You know that each one of that the uh, guiding vehicles is not clever, but as the uh, uh, as a group, there's an overall program to modulate that all the activities and movement inside the warehouse and to maximize that the uh, wealth and also the value of society as a whole. It, it is the situation in the warehouse, so the control factors are very small. But consider an urban city, if it requires and which actually incorporates this kind of AI technology, and then what kind of sensors are required, what kind of structure, what kind of that the programming, uh, what kind of world can be described for the computers or machine to appropriate capture and judge and make appropriate action. Mm -hmm. Like a, a mobility uh, agent, not only rumors or that the uh, automatic guiding vehicles that could be humanoid, that could be uh, the wheelchair, that could be drones, different shapes and form, but that they actually sense the world all the same. So the, all the description of the information they capture may be different. Humanoid mm -hmm. uh, is are the agent that we can easily identify, but uh, some digital AI. Uh, installed to the buildings or the installed inside the environment, which you are not able to detect as humanoid or the body, but uh, totally different. Uh, the shapes and form uh, will be adapted in uh, various types of uh, Asian. So that question, how are we able to capture information, the use of uh, the um, the uh, robotics and uh, AIs and also describe to world all the physical objects are the dark matter for robotics and also that the ABGs, uh, AGVs. But the, it's like that asking uh, robotics without the sight to deliver coffee to you. You know that each time you have to scan the environment and the uh, program the uh, behavior, that's it's impossible. But the uh, what you have to have is a more comprehensive the uh, total system, uh, like the uh, technologies and technologies to chalk every edge and every company. That's um, Actually, the re reality is that each and every company have their own technology of capturing and scanning, and there is no or scale. I mean, economy of scales. You know, sometimes there are each size, there are some environment side. So that in the future, in order for the economy of size to be realized and also the efficiency, you really have to have that kind of AI, so that the intelligence into environment size, like in the case of building. For each project, the contents are different, and uh, uh, companies and also person to the way that the world is described is so des desperate. There is no generality, there is no commonality. Perhaps a building have some actually rules or patterns, like in a beam, uh, building intelligence, uh, the uh, management. But uh, what about rules and what about other environment? So it's more like a closed world. It has a great potential beam, uh, for example, but uh, too bad there's no connectivity. So there are domains which beams cannot handle. What we have to do is the only technology is that the crowd point scanning, which of course, that I, I am now uh, pr practicing that. This is a campus of the uh, Art University of Tokyo. And VRs and ARs can be incorporated into these uh, patterns or the system, what kind of sensors can be employed for those AVs and RVs uh, can be actually utilized. Now, clouds, uh, point clouds are very heavy, and that also the description of plat uh, planner information is just just too poor, so that the, uh, there are many technologies, but not one fit all, like a scanning using that the point crowds, or f for example, this Google Earth, to capture, although it is very low uh, resolution, no attributes information, but the, uh, the Google scan, uh, and that the uh, point crowds were the basis for the uh, great hit uh, game of the uh, Pokemon Go, and what if that the uh, inside the buildings and all the information, all the mobility uh, can be modulated and uh, controlled in very seamless manner? And then the urban situation, how well we are able to really realize that. 
and uh, digital description should be conducted in environment, not beams and not the point clouds, something between. What could be the uh, specification uh, between this that game and machine? There are various AI character AIs and other AIs, navigation AI too are actually that the uh, actually using the uh, 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 the uh, environments and and that act very uh, in an agile fashion for users to enjoy in the world of game now that kind of knowledge can be utilized in the uh, sphere of the urban environment or the uh, architectural building so how well that they put the real world into the digital agent uh, and also that could be understandable use in the physical agent as well so it's going to be a kind of common description we have to create <laughs> Let's take a look at our office. It's dirty, but the, in order for the wheelchair to autonomously driving, in what way are we able to describe this? What kind of details should be provided? In what way are they able to grasp the environment easily? We have been working on the experiment, so we have no other choice but to do this. DA is digital agents, so with the various sensors and various uh, technologies, we are able to have the description in order for them to be able to collaborate with us. It is important for us to understand what, how they function as a physical agent, but on, lo on top of that, it is important to make sure that other digital agents would be able to understand that digital agent and to, to try to think about the better world. So the, uh, at the uh, National Artificial Intelligence Society annual meeting, the doctor the Ta Ta Toyoaki Nishida said that in order to allow the society of human beings to fully enjoy the benefits of artificial intelligence, a common ground is needed. So the common ground is needed between the society and also the, the things. So it is impor important to have this kind of overlapping. So allow me to to use this term, and we have been using this in the context of the cities. So we are living in the physical world, and we are not able to understand the structures. In order to have the interaction, the, in this situation, it is important to have a common ground, which is not the digital world, which is not the physical world, but we have to have something common between the two. So this should be shown here from them. And then if you see this, beyond, see beyond that, then this could be a mirror world. So where do, with the uh, wires, at uh, the, the wired the uh, magazine, this has been taken up as the feature program. So the, uh, this has been taken up. The, and the increasingly, it is becoming uh, more and more important. In digital twins and common world and the uh, others, and many people think about this as the uh, almost similar things. Well, you're not wrong. When we say digital twins, if you describe this in the, the digital way, this is digital twin, this could be used by the uh, CAD or others, various ways of describing it. So we can safely say that the, we have so many digital twins. So. The, as the number of the uh, things increase, we will see the increase of the digital twins. Everything is digital twin. And then each and every one of them, they have the value, inherent values, not quite. Then the, this is the uh, list, for example, Uber would use their description. And so the, everything can come up with the digital twins. And then they try to come up with the general way of using it and then try to understand the commonalities. And then this can be put into the service and then again, integration could take place as a platform. So we have the, uh, the uh, same description for the AR and the autonomous driving. And then we are able to have the common area. And then if we are able to provide that beforehand, then in that situation, we are able to provide and implement the kind of service in, this, in the cities. So let's come back to the platform. So the, it is not the, the kind of things that can be done by the, uh, one big brother, but rather many of the platformers would have this. For example, Mori Building would have their own spec. Google has its own spec. JR East also would have the, uh, their own. And the, also the, the Tokyo would have the, uh, the other one by themselves. 
So they, they would come up with the platform on their own and then try to think about how they live on top of that the platform. So that means that the choices are provided to them. So that's the only way we have to live in the future. So that's the, uh, that's the background the, with which we come up with the term multiverse. So we have the high order world. And so we make a choice among different universe. And that is the designing multiverse rather than universe. I'd like to speak about something much larger. In thinking about the, uh, the platformers, we have the, I'd like to take a look at the history of platformers up until 1980s. Japanese companies were the, enjoying the highest point. The, and the manufacturing companies enjoyed the very good the age. And then after that, we started seeing the Google, Yahoo, Amazon, Alibaba, and others. And then they, they had been the, some momentum, and the Japanese companies were not able to make a change. So that means that they were not able to change them, the thrive on changes. But the, uh, the information age is already gaining momentum, but against the Google and Yahoo. And then we have Amazon and Yahoo, uh, Alibaba with the highest level of market cap. They are the information platformers, but they also have the actual products. So that means that they have the information platform. Then this is a third generation. Will it be the last? No, this is a fourth generation. So that means that they have, for example, taxis and hotels. So taxis were only one or zero. Then this had been liquidated, and the Uber is there. And for the hotels, Airbnb is, is the rising. So against the backdrop of the existing city, we only have to change the structures. So that means that we are able to see the increase of values for human beings. So the, uh, the next generation is now utilizing the information platform to cover the entire city. However, the city is very complicated. So even with the, the fourth generation, they are only able to cover only one field, be it taxis or be it the hotels. But the fifth generation would be something that would cover the entire city. This is a platform. So the, for, from the information side, it is now coming back to the, the goods or the, the, the products. Now, the, for the third generation, the players or the fourth generation players, they were not able to handle the products. Then they have to go back to the first generation. Now, this is becoming the gold mine. However, very unfortunately, the, the first generation does not have the information as the, the common uh, terms. And so that means that they have to change themselves. They could be the, the purchase or the acquired by new ent entities, or they should change themselves. For example, the, 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 the uh, Google started the working on the uh, Toronto. It is not that Toronto invited them, but rather, the, on an experimental basis, Google wanted to buy the city, and there had been some resistance. So Google is now becoming a lame duck, and then they are not only able to say, talk about the social goods and nothing more. So the, there are platformers' movements, and the society is now resisting their moves. And then uh, this is becoming uh, larger than this, the, the technology or the economy. And then in the United States, the, uh, the Google is now thinking about, and Microsoft is now thinking, at the, at Microsoft and the also the other companies are now thinking of coming up with the cities in the desert. And also Alibaba is use, utilizing Hangzhou, Zhou and the Tencent and the Huawei would have the uh, the announcement of the city outside the suburb of the Hangzhou. So about the uh, development of the cities, China is having the highest point. So they are very much in favorable position. Same holds true with Singapore. Then looking back at the Japanese situation, are there any Japanese companies who are able to do this? And also, are there any cities that can be acquired? No. And the answers are no. So in that situation, things are changing. So in the case of the uh, the single platformers, the uh, the U U.S. and China are having difficulties. Actually, China is do doing well. The, then, the, in, in the case of the Europe, they are eco-conscious. They are led by the uh, the, uh, the governments. But Japanese way of doing this is open platform corporate alliance type. And so, if we are able to have a corporate alliance, then that should be the last resort for Japan. Then. 
I was involved with the 2025 Expo Osaka. Some people say that the, we no longer want to have the Expo, but thinking about this from uh, this context, then we are able to collaborate the, uh, the demonstration for half a year, and then we are able to collect data and the, the also other expertise. So we collaborate for six months, and after that, we just say goodbye to each other. And then the, at this time, the expo would be the only thing that we are able to do this. So we are now the, faced with the possibility of making new cities. So this is the last opportunity in 2025. So that's something we have been working on. We could come up with the pavilion or urban cities or the, also the, uh, the infrastructures. They are very important. If the same holds true with the communication. And then we can have the AR and IR. And so the common ground should be created in the, in the new continent. New continent is not the moon, not the Mars, but rather this is the, the, the common ground which has been expanded to the higher order. And the, uh, the, it is increasingly important to have the expertise in manufacturing. And then the ships should be built by digital. So, so we are not able to create a ship to go to that new area without utilizing the term bits. Thank you very much. That's all for me. Thank you very much. Please, please give him a big hand. Thank you very much, Mr. Keisuke Koda.